Hey, it's Candy. Did you know that I have a quiz to help coaches choose their niche? Yeah, I do. It's super popular and it has been taken more than 20,000 times. This is a fun quiz that takes you about two minutes to do, and it will probably give you way more clarity on choosing your best coaching niche. So now whether you say niche or niche, it's going to work for you. And if you're a coach and you have been stuck in niche indecision, wondering what to do, then you should take my quiz and find out what you learn. You can take the quiz today at coachnichequiz.com. That's coachnichequiz.com. Okay, let's dive into this week's episode. Welcome to She Coaches Coaches. I'm your host, Candy Motzek, and I'm going to help you find the clarity, confidence, and courage to become the coach that you are meant to be. If you're a new coach, or if you've always wanted to be a life coach, then this is the place for you. We're going to talk all about mindset and strategies and how to, because step by step only works when you have the clarity, courage, and confidence to take action. Let's get started. Hey there, amazing listener. It is your coach and guide, Candy Motsek, the host of She Coaches Coaches. Welcome. I am so glad you're here. This show is more than three years old. And whether you're one of our OGs or you're just finding us for the first time, I want to welcome you to She Coaches Coaches. As I was writing my newest batch of episodes, I had a look through the hundreds of episodes we've already released. Yeah, I could hardly believe it. Hundreds of episodes. And I figured that even though I'm always inspired with new ideas to share with you, there is huge value in many of the concepts we've already covered. So today is a special treat. We're going to dive into the archives to bring back a gem, a timeless episode that is packed with wisdom and strategies that you can put into action today. This is an episode that resonated deeply within the community. And as we're dusting off those virtual shelves, we're not just looking at the past. You may have heard it when it was new, but if you're anything like me, you're always evolving, always growing. So consider how much you've grown in the past years or even months. That means even if you listened to it before, you're going to unlock a new perspective. You're going to learn something new because you are hearing it with different ears. The lessons are evergreen and the strategies shared are the stepping stones to many of the success stories that you can achieve. So buckle up for a nostalgia infused value packed episode, whether you heard it when it was a fresh release or you're uncovering it for the first time, get ready to get inspired, and to take your coaching journey to new heights. Okay, let's dive in. Hey, I'm so glad you're here. And welcome to episode nine of She Coaches Coaches. Today, we round out that final part of my Confident Coaches Success Framework. This is part five of how to manage your mind to get better, faster, funner, if that's a word, results with less stress and exhaustion and to finally get over procrastination, overwhelm, confusion, and feeling stuck. I've shared with you that I use all of this in my own work with my individual coaching clients, so I know it works. It's been tried and tested. Before we get started, I want to read to you another review for this podcast. If you haven't already, I'd love it if you would leave a review in Apple Podcast, and maybe I'll share yours on future episodes. This one is from Love's Freestyle Music. Here's what she has to say. I love the podcast, especially because it's helping me to become a better coach. When you're just starting out, Candy's calming voice, and she shares her story about confidence. Thank you so much. Okay, now we're ready to talk about this fifth pillar of my Confident Coaches Success Framework. The pillar is called, What You See is What You've Got, or better known as the Be, Do, Have Pillar. 
If this is the first time you're listening to me, and this is the first episode that you've started listening on, don't worry, you're in the right spot. Here is a quick little summary to bring you up to speed quickly on my success framework. There are five components of this framework, and I've done an episode on each of the pillars. I'll pop the links in the to the other episodes in the show notes below. That way, you can easily check them out later. You can use this Confident Coaches success framework as you become a coach and start your coaching business, but you can also use it in any area of your life. Learning how you create your results and how you can change the results that you're getting by managing your thoughts is kind of like finding a treasure. It's one of the biggest contributors to my growth and to my meaningful, successful business that I have right now. So here they are. Pillar number one, accept what is. Accept where you're at. Accept who you are. Be kind to yourself and even love yourself right now. Number two, it is always your thoughts. Every thought you have works to create the life that you have. Every thought is optional. And yes, you can learn how to change your thoughts. Your feelings are your GPS. How you feel affects what you do and the quality of your life. Feelings are the language of life and they are magnetic. Number four, take intentional and inspired action. Yes, we've got to do stuff to attract clients, but how you do it is just as important as what you do. Doing the next thing on your to-do list when you're feeling frustrated and disappointed is never going to give you the same results as when you do them when you're feeling centered and engaged. And number five, what you see is what you've got or the be, do, have principle. And here's where we are today. So this principle reminds you to first create a vision of what you want and who you want to be, and then use that vision as the waypoint or the guiding force on your journey to becoming the successful coach that you want to be. You may already know this in some areas of your life, or this might be an entirely new concept. Either way, every time I hear this truth, I learn it at a deeper level. Sometimes I see it in a different way. There's always something new and more for me to absorb and use. I think the first time I ever heard of the be, do, have approach was from Zig Ziglar, one of the oldest self-improvement speakers there is. And here's what he had to say. You have to be before you can do and do before you can have. Now, the first time I heard it, I was like, what? 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 Wait a minute. What did he just say? Because I'd spent my entire life believing that was only when I had the thing I wanted that then I would get to do the things that I wanted to do. And finally, only then would I get to be who I wanted to be. But I also found out that this accepted approach is backwards. I didn't need to have the promotion to do more interesting work so that I could finally be successful. I don't need to lose the weight to feel good in my body, and neither do you. What story are you telling yourself about becoming a successful coach who has impact? Most of us think we have to have a certain thing, maybe more money or more time, more clients, more experience, so that we can finally do something important, like pursue our passion of being a coach, which will then allow us to be what we truly want in life, feeling fulfilled and inspired and generous and successful. But in truth, it works the other way around. Do you think you need to have 20 clients before you can do the things that successful coaches do? And only when all that is in place, do you get to be a successful coach with impact? Well, I've got news for you. That old outdated approach is actually the slowest way to creating your dream. Why not enjoy the journey every step of the way? That's what this be, do, have approach gives you. Here's how it works. Start with your vision. What do you want to be? Do you want to be a fully booked coach so you can finally quit your soul-sucking job? Do you want to be a force of nature where you as a coach creates an amazing ripple effect in your clients' lives? Dream right now. 
You can even pause this podcast and answer these questions for yourself. What do I really want? Why do I want it? Go ahead. If you're not driving, hit pause and answer those questions for yourself. Now that you're in touch with this dream, how will you feel when you are living that life? Do you imagine that you will feel fulfilled and prosperous, proud, empowered? How do you want to feel? Again, you can pause this episode and write down a few of the feelings that you expect to feel when you've created that vision. As you're writing these emotions, I bet you can start to feel them bubbling up too, right? Good. Go ahead and enjoy them now. Okay. Next, take some time every day connecting to that vision and the emotions that you're going to feel when you're there. You can feel those emotions right now. Take time being your future self. This is the experience of being in advance. It feels good, doesn't it? Okay, now ask yourself, when I am my future me, what do I do? Grab your journal and answer. I highly recommend that you visit the place of being your future self daily and ask and answer that question, what do I do? That future version of me, what do I do? Learning how to learn from yourself will support you in creating that perfect coaching business. And it's the only one that really matters to you. My business is perfect for me. And I want to help you make the one that is just right for you. It's kind of like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Do you want a few clients or do you want to create an empire? What bowl of Goldilocks porridge is just right for you? You get to choose. Maybe future you has 20 individual clients and you're completely organized. When a new client signs up for coaching, you automatically send them a beautiful welcome package. Or maybe future you has 10 solid clients that stick with you in the long run. You're part of their life and you support them as they continue to grow. Or maybe you deliver workshops in corporate spaces or share your lessons at conferences. So now that you know what future you does, create a project list and a list of things future you does in a day. From that first example alone, the one where you have 20 clients and you're completely organized, you could work on creating a welcome package now. What would that include? What does it look like? You may also realize the benefit in having that package ready to go at your fingertips so you can send it to any new client at a moment's notice. Maybe future you gets most of your clients from referrals. How could you make that happen? Well, you want to improve your coaching skills. You want to stay in touch with your past clients regularly. And you want to tell your clients that you're grateful for their referrals too. Do you see that as you begin to create the systems, skills, understanding, and mindset that future you has, and you start to create it and feel it now. You can't help but become that future you. You will be that future you, and you're practicing, growing into, and becoming her or him right now. How much fun is that, right? It's so much fun. And you always know what to work on next to attract more clients and grow your business. So for me, an example was Future Me had a podcast and I publish a new episode every week. I knew that my community listens to me every week. I'm in their ears as they commute to work or they go for a run. My listeners feel connected and they get useful, practical and inspiring information. They feel like they know me and that I'm their guide to becoming a coach and that some of them become my clients too. So I thought of that future you, and here I am now speaking to you every single week. Do you see how much easier this approach is? Be future you today and every day. Feel how future you feels. Then do those things that future you, 
that one who already has the success you want does. And it must happen. It must be that you get to have the things that future you wants to have. This is kind of a funny episode to write. You'll see what I mean when you click through to the episode webpage. I'm really happy I'm recording it because when I read it, it's a bit of a mind twister. I have to keep rereading it to make sure it makes sense. But when I speak it, it feels so much clearer. (laughs) So it's one of the reasons I'm happy for podcasting. It's going to be easier for you to take this principle and use it. Finally, as I wrap this episode up, I want to leave you with this. Everything that we do or don't do, everything we want or everything we want to avoid is because of a feeling. Either we want to feel a certain way or we want to avoid feeling that way. We love to feel happy and we want to avoid feeling shame. We want to feel confident and we want to avoid feeling anxious. The be, do, have principle encourages you to feel the way you want to feel right now. It doesn't mean that you're not going to have worry, anxiety, or setbacks. That's life. But now that you know that it's okay to feel that way, you're learning how to accept what is. Remember that very first pillar we spoke about? And accept who you are right now, while also laying claim to the coach that you want to be. Emotions come and go. They rise and fall like the tide or like waves on the ocean. When you have a vision of what you want to create and you consciously connect with that vision over and over, you will prime yourself through your feelings and thoughts to do the things that will make your vision a reality. You will be the person you want to become. Do the things they do and have the satisfaction, love, money, and time that you dream of. So thanks for joining. And remember to listen next week too, when I talk about the levels of learning. This is another concept that's really going to help you feel more confident, calm, and purposeful as you grow. Hey, I so appreciate that you're here as part of my community, and I hope you're doing the work and applying this stuff too. Now I want to hear from you. Click through to the episode notes and leave me a comment. Tell me the kinds of things that you want to learn more about. I'm always looking to help you in the best way I can, and that means creating episodes that speak to exactly what you're looking for. Of course, You can do all of this work on your own using the information that I share in these episodes. Many of you are great do-it-yourselfers, and I'm so happy to support you. So keep listening and remember to subscribe. And if you want more help and you want to work more closely with me, I'm here. My clients are go-getters, and many of them wanted to become a coach for weeks or even months before they got started. They're eager to dive in and they know that life is short. They want the fastest and funnest, if that's a word, route to becoming a successful coach. If this sounds like you, I would be honored to be your mentor and guide. Click on the link in the episode notes and let's talk. Now, before I wrap this up, I've got something special to tell you about. I wanna tell you about a new free membership site that I created to help you start your business and become a coach. It's called the Coaches Online Business Academy. Here's how it works. When you sign up for your free account, you will have immediate access to a whole bunch of resources, and it's all free. I've got a quiz to help you narrow down your niche, a pre-recorded five-day training to kickstart your coaching business, and a lot of PDF guides, checklists, and white papers including 147 proven coaching niches, a checklist for what you need to do as a brand new coach who's just starting out, and ideas for places to find paying clients, plus more. Every month, I'll be adding more free resources to this vault. You only need to sign up once, and then you're going to get access to all of the resources that are there right now and all the new ones as I add them to. It is a really valuable offer, and I'm so pleased to be able to gift it to you. Click on the link in the show notes for the Coaches Online Business Academy and sign up today. We'll talk to you soon.
Thanks again for listening today. Please hop on over to Apple Podcasts and leave a review. Also, I would love to hear from you. Did something that I say resonate? What else would you like to learn about? Click the link in the player and leave a comment on the post. This is going to give me great ideas for future episodes so I can help you best. Join me again next week for more coaching, support, and teaching to help you become the confident coach you are meant to be. Hey, it's Candy. Did you know that I have a quiz to help coaches choose their niche? Yeah, I do. It's super popular and it has been taken more than 20,000 times. This is a fun quiz that takes you about two minutes to do and it will probably give you way more clarity on choosing your best coaching niche. So now whether you say niche or niche, it's going to work for you. And if you're a coach and you have been stuck in niche indecision, wondering what to do, then you should take my quiz and find out what you learn. You can take the quiz today at coachnichequiz.com. That's coachnichequiz.com. Okay, let's dive into this week's episode.